Alright, so welcome to my second video trying to figure out how to get this bad boy to work. It's the external super drive housing that goes to your super drive from your MacBook Pro or whatever. And um having issues right now. As far as ejecting, I went ahead and went to uh Finder and just press eject, you know. But when I do that, the disc is keep hitting this bottom plastic part. You can see the plastic part on this bottom part like coming out. Uh, as the disc is trying to eject so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop the video and see if I can figure out why it's hitting that and let you guys know my conclusion so what I'm gonna do is take some paper like some lime paper and I'm gonna go ahead and try and rig this bad boy up like I'm good at I'm good at rigging some stuff up but I think I heard somebody saying something about this too um, because I think that when you put this on there there's still like a little gap so this like hangs like down a little bit and makes the disc hit against this right here so um, I'm gonna try and fold some paper up and see what that worked fold it up one more time because when I open this up, I noticed that um, this was like up some. So I'm going to see if this going to work right here. So right now I'm just going to try and eject it. I'm just trying to test the eject. See if it's still going to hit that lip right there or not. Okay. Wait till it pop up. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and close Finder. Okay, there we go. Still showing the same error, but I just want to see if it's gonna eject the disc. There we go. So if you're buying this, make sure that you put some rolled up paper right in the front, then put the bottom piece on, and then there you go. So it won't keep hitting that lip at the bottom so I have slither in I'm gonna test out a different movie because maybe it's the movie so I'm not sure but it says something about the uh, drive didn't install correctly that's the one thing I love about Windows over Mac any day you can plug up anything to Windows it'll search for the drivers for you right away easily quick fast in a hurry no problems whatsoever you do it, it, uh, encounter some problems but not that much you know it, it just installs like like smoothly you know, you don't have to worry about searching for the drivers and trying to go to forums. It just downloads everything for you and say, hey, your device is ready to use. Simple as that. No installation disks or nothing. So I have Mac and PC. I love them both. They both have their ups and downs. They have one, one does something better that the other one can't do. The other one does something better that the other one can't do. You know, it does, it goes both ways, you know. So still saying, saying the same error. A valid DVD drive cannot be found. Um, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off. At least I, you know, help somebody out a little bit by showing a piece of paper thing that you gotta put inside there. You know, I just wanna let you guys, you know, just in case you guys are struggling like I am trying to get this thing to work. You know, just trying to show you guys some solutions I came up with. So make sure you put that piece of paper inside there. You know, fold it up a few times. Pop it inside there. Pop the thing together. Don't need no screws. That's simple. Um, as far as this stuff, if you got past this stage, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I really would appreciate it. Other than that, it's been your boy, M. Lee, the Hobby Collector. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.